Hi, my name is Megan Sinclair. I am the veterinary nurse and wildlife rehabilitation centre manager at Shamwari Private Game Reserve. Here at the Shamwari Rehabilitation Centre, we take on injured and orphaned animals with the goal to successfully rehabilitate them and release them back into the wild. Currently at the Rehabilitation Centre, we have a bushbuck. His name is Bushbuck. He came from a coastal town and was found as a baby orphaned by his mom, not sure why, but we went to go fetch him and he came back to the rehab centre and we have successfully rehabilitated him. He's doing really well, he's about eight months old now. So as soon as winter's over with, and he'll be going back into the bush. Living with bushbuck is copper, and copper is a copper springbuck. So the special thing about copper is she's not the colour of a normal springbuck. A normal springbuck has a light brown back with white belly, where copper has got a coppery belly as well. She was orphaned by her mom as well, found in a farm uh, close here to Shamwari, and she'll also be released with bushbuck after winter. Two of our other patients that we have here at the rehab centre are two barn owls. The one barn owl comes from another rescue centre and we are just assisting it with the release. And the second barn owl is actually quite an interesting story. He comes from a crematorium. He was found in the chimney there. So he was just brought to us for a safer place to be released back into the wild. Both owls are healthy and we're hoping to release them soon. Come on, here we go. You're gonna hold it. Good girl, hold. Good girl. It's crazy to think that three years ago we first received Amara and Stella, the two elephants. Amara actually originally comes from Shamwari. She was found wandering around on the reserve all by herself. She actually started following one of the anti poaching guys on foot when he called us to come and investigate and see what was going on. When we got there, she was completely emaciated, dehydrated um, and in a terrible state of health. But she managed to pull through, we kept her going and we're very proud that she was able to, to get to where she is today. We've had a few troubles with Amara. She hasn't grown as much as we'd hoped. We have been struggling with digestion problems. Often elephants are very intuitive and they know when there's something wrong with one of their babies and they generally will then just leave them in the bush. This makes us question why Amara was left in the bush and maybe she has got a digestive problem that we are unaware of that her mom knew about. Six months later, Stella arrived from a neighbouring reserve. She was in a different condition. She was a healthy little elephant full of beans. Again, not sure what happened with mom. She was found wandering around with a bull elephant and the reserve was just concerned that she was going to be eaten by the lions. So knowing that we had an elephant, they, they decided to bring her here. So when these baby elephants arrived, we were, weren't really prepared staff-wise. We had no idea it was coming our way. So we had to quickly find carers to look after these elephants as you had to sleep with them and be with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, walking with them, sleeping with them on mattresses and literally caring for their every need. We've got Taba, Vusi and Sibuyile, which are our three carers at the moment that look after the Ellies. They are responsible for taking them for walks and feeding them and just being with them and comforting them. Elephants are very social animals. I'm sure if you've seen them in the wild, you will see they're constantly walking under mom, on top of each other, pushing each other around. So it was very important for us that we had the same carers taking care of the elephants. Try to have as few changes as possible, just so that we don't interrupt that secure herd environment. Guests that come to Shamwari Private Game Reserve are able to come and visit the rehab center. And we do have strict rules that there are no guest interactions with the animals. We wanted to have as natural a barrier as possible between humans and, and animals. And also just to break up the, the silhouette of a human so the animals didn't get used to people. By minimizing these interactions between the animals and the humans, we have found that our success for releasing the animals back into the wild is much greater. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Kearney. I'm the Ranger Manager at Shamwari Private Game Reserve. 
I just want to take a moment to say thank you very much for all the support and feedback that we've been getting on our brand new channel, Shimwari TV. Haven't followed us yet? Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for our next episode, and I'll see you right here at Shimwari Private Game Reserve.